John here guys and today we're talking about something different cheater quad what is a cheater quad it was all once a cheater always a cheater <laughs> well a cheater quad is a quad in which you have built an FPV camera system on the front and the back of the quad this is a graduate level Cinewoop that is designed to be able to carry a GoPro Hero camera on board along with ducks. Now, the two types of cheetah quads that you can build are um, the most popular ones are from Shin Drones, and they are the Shin Drone Squirt, which is actually designed to be a regular sort of cinema whoop with uh, three inch motors, three inch props. So, actually, the Cinewoop props are actually slightly smaller than three inches, and then the Shin Drones Geyser that is one that you can actually run five inch motors on and you'll also have the the props cut down to be able to run those um, ducks the ducks are printed out of flexible tpu to allow you some cushion um, and some safety features if you need to fly them in an area close to people now the cool thing about having a cheater quad with a camera on the front and the back is um, if you have the proper flight controller such as the luminaire version that has dual camera inputs you can assign switching that camera input to a switch now what does that do um, so it, if you would imagine yourself flying um, like say you had somebody moving in a car on a bicycle or whatever and my buddy george is going to explain why you would want that yeah bro so like say for example like i want to follow you know uh, somebody in a bicycle you know when i want to follow somebody in a slow moving car you know i can come like behind them you know flying forward you know kind of pass them up and uh pass them up like Oh, and like, you're looking you know, at them. Yeah. yeah, you pass them up, but you're flying backwards with the GoPro uh, on reverse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's got its purpose, man. But That's pretty sweet. The servo works so, pretty good. Basically, it helps when you have a, a flight controller with dual dual camera. If you don't have that, you can get a little switcher. It's called a bike flight, bike flight mm. switch. You put a switcher on your... Uh, on Is that the, what you uh, have or you got the... Controller? No, I got the flight controller. I want to I want to try F7 flight controller, but it, it can work also with a with a switcher. Uh, basically, you connect the switcher to the S bus pad and apply power, blah blah. You know, on the switcher you connect your two cameras. The same thing you have to set it up on the radio and all that. Dang. The setup was the easy part, but uh, it's smooth. It's real smooth. It's fun to fly. Uh, it is. I mean, for. Dude, I hit my fucking head with this the other day. <laughs> I, fly, I wanted to fly so close to my to my head, and I like I miscalculate. It she like it hurts, but it doesn't hurt to the point where like, oh my god, you know, it hurts for a day. Like, it's it's pretty safe, bro. Cause... Don't try this at home. No, don't try that shit at home. But... <laughs> I hit my head, but you know, you can tell like the the TPL whatever he did is is really soft. It's, yeah, it's yeah. really. It's not bad. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it is. It's also called Geyser. Geyser, that's a geyser frame. Cheater's justice! Oh, God. Oh. Hey, no. 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 I wanted everybody to know that things were changed around here. So, very cool. I'm going to show you some footage, uh, DVR, of me flying it. Um, he urged me to fly down the field. I was a little bit reluctant knowing how expensive this thing is with the servo that is built on this thing. Um, it allows the actual GoPro to have some stabilization uh, and angle adjustment built into it, which is really cool. Um, I, I didn't really want to risk destroying such an expensive quad. I didn't know if I'd be able to get the hang of the switching. So he agreed, let's just leave the GoPro off and fly it like that. So I did. And it was surprisingly very easy. It was quite smooth to fly. Switching, um, I got used to it in about three or four switches. The only thing you need to remember, and it makes perfect sense, is as you're flying your quad, even with a low camera tilt, your quad's still tilted a little bit like this, right? So what do you think you would need to do when you flip your camera from going frontwards to rearwards? And if you see the little letters in the front and on the, on the bottom of the screen, 
F is for front, R is for rear. So that way you can always tell which camera you have facing. Typically your GoPro is only gonna be pointing in one direction, right? Probably front. So you know if you are pointing rear, the GoPro is pointing the opposite direction. Very, very cool. So as I mentioned, if I'm flying like this, camera's pointing that way, you switch, camera's pointing out, and your camera's up. So all you gotta do is remember, as soon as you switch, be ready to pitch down. Now you're going back the other way. So easy and very, very fun. I'll also include some of Georgie's footage with this thing that looks really cool. What do you guys think in the comments? Uh, do you have any cinemas built up? This is taking it on to another level. The typical little cinema whoop toy grade stuff that we fly on this channel a lot is very fun. You can get very f smooth footage, but no of these Caddx run cams, you know, turtles, tarsiers, whatever can compete with the quality of footage that comes on a GoPro Hero. And these quads allow you to get that. They're a little bit larger, a little bit bigger motor, so you can have a little bit um, a more smooth flight. You can also have a little power if you need it. Um, so very, very cool. Let's check out the footage. Thanks, guys.